Hi everybody, we're back for another edition of Cooking in the Kitchen with Mark. This morning we are going to be making just a pretty easy omelet. I know a lot of you have problems with uh, making omelets because it's hard flipping the eggs and you don't get the pretty omelet. I'm going to show you an easy way to take care of that problem, but first I think I'll tell you a little story. The other day, uh, I was out in the yard and this city boy pulls up. I could tell he was a city boy because he gets out and he has all this fancy button camouflage stuff on and expensive stuff, fancy boots and he asked me, he says, uh, you got any squirrels in that there timber? I said, well, yeah. I said, this is hillbilly acres. There's all kinds of squirrels back there in my timber. He said, would you care? Uh, you give me permission to go back there and try and hunt some of them there squirrels? I said, no, nah, I don't have a problem with that. Well, he goes to the back of his truck and he opens up this dog box and pulls out this fancy walker hound. It's got this big old fancy tracking collar on it and reaches in, pulls out a rifle and pulls it out of the case and well, that thing's got more shiny brass on it than any rifle I ever owned. And he says, I'll be back in a couple hours. And I could hear him heading back in the timber. <laughs> them big fancy boots he had on, making all kinds of noise. Them city boys don't know nothing about hunting. Well, about oh, four hours goes by and he comes back and he's all disgusted and mad. And he said, you just wasted all my time and my dog's time. Tell me there's squirrels in that timber and there's no squirrels in that timber. I said, well, the heck there ain't. I said, my grandson's here. I said, he's about 10 years old. I said, run out there and show him there's squirrels in that timber. I said, you just follow my grandson out there. Well, about half hour goes by and they come walking out of the timber and my grandson looks like he has a hula skirt on. He has squirrels hanging off of his cut off shorts, barefoot, squirrels all over him. And that hunter said, I've never, that, that old city boy says, I've never seen nothing like it. He says, we go out in that timber. And he said, I asked your grandson, I said, well, where's your rifle? He said, I don't carry no rifle. He said, well, you don't have a shotgun or something? No. He said, well, how are you going to get them squirrels? He said, well, here, let me show you. He said, he reached in his pocket, pulled out a steel ball. He said, just fit in a palm of his hand just perfect and he said right there's a squirrel he said watch this and he said he rears back and he throws that and he hit that squirrel right in the head knocked it right out of that tree and I couldn't believe it he said I, I said boy you got a heck of an arm on you he said yeah it's my right hand he said I'm left handed though he said well left handed he said why aren't you throwing with your left hand he said, well, my papa won't let me because I tear the squirrels up too bad. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that story. We're going to go on with uh, getting these omelets started for you. Cut it off. All right, we're going to get to cooking. First thing is the ingredients. We have farm fresh eggs laid right directly from my chickens here at Hillbilly Acres. A lot better than store-bought eggs. Okay, we'll turn the stove on and you want to get it about medium heat. You don't want to get her too hot because them eggs will stick. And we'll let that heat up just a little bit. What I did, I took some vegetable oil spray and sprayed just a little bit in that pan so that the eggs wouldn't stick. I have two eggs. I just beat them up a little bit. Stir them around good. Dump them in that skillet. I have a, you notice I have a round skillet. The same size as what these tortilla shells are. So I'm going to show you a trick here. It works pretty slick. I like a little bit of 
salt and pepper in my eggs. And you can do this with, I mean, I'm making a, a Spanish omelet. I have some taco meat, black olives, onions, tomatoes. You can do this with whatever your favorite omelet is. Ham and cheese, sausage, whatever you like. Okay, we're gonna let them eggs get partially cooked. Just like so, you can see that uh, they're starting to cook there around the edges. I just keep the eggs spread out even because you want a nice fluffy omelet. And when it gets just about done, you will lay your tortilla shell right directly on top of it. And you will let that cook for just a little while. So the eggs will get pretty well completely cooked. And you can take a rubber spatula go around the edges to make sure it's not stuck. It's looking good. Why didn't you throw your veggies in there, in your meat? I'm going to show you why. That's a good question. Because, I take this, oh, it's a stick and I didn't get it, and then you flip it over, like that, right there. And I like using Velveeta. Just put some of that. Cheese directly on it. Oh, making a mess on your stove, Jess. Mm hmm. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> you do it every time. <laughs> I'll clean it up. No, you won't. <laughs> and you just put your favorite ingredients inside of there. A little bit of onion, some of that taco meat. I have some black olives and some tomatoes. And then take and since that tortilla shell is on the bottom you can fold it up really easy you can see that tortilla is browning off will be hot you can flip it over one more time if you want to make sure your cheese is melting good I like taking this can I have a plate, please? Only if you're gonna serve me. Well, that's the plan. <laughs> there you have it. Simple and easy. Shut the stove off. You can take this. I like these because I take my homemade salsa and pour over top of it, put some sour cream on it. And I'll show you the finished product in here, here in just a minute. Okay, we have the final product. What? Oh my God. Whoops. <laughs> Jeez, Opie. Leave her to edit the movie and what do I get? Hey. <laughs> We have the final product here. It's time to eat. And uh, I just take some of my homemade salsa. This jar's about gone. This summer, when uh, the garden out here at Hillbilly Acres is done, I'll show you how I make my homemade salsa, pasta sauce, all that stuff. But you just dump some good old salsa on there. Throw a dollop of sour cream on top of it. If you like hot sauce, woo-wee, that makes it good. Oh boy, howdy. I'm going to chow down. Until next time, we'll see you on the next Cooking in the Kitchen with Mark. Everybody take care.